Hi, everyone. My name is Lisi Wright. I am a gold wellness advocate with doTERRA essential oils, and I wanted to pop on here to just show you guys how I make a couple of teething blends for my baby. So if you are one of my customers or one of my leaders customers, you have access to my Google Doc, which is all about the oils that I use for my baby and have used with her since she was brand new. And so if you don't have that Google Doc but would like to receive access to it, please just send a message to me or to whoever enrolled you and we will get that to you. But I want to share just a couple of blends here for teething because she has, she has like four teeth coming in. It's been a little bit, she's one and a half with six teeth and I think it's just all gonna come in now. So she's definitely been teething and these have been such a comfort for her. So there are a lot of different, uh, or a few different options with teething. And one that I really, really love is, so the lighting in here is a little funny, you guys, sorry. I'm at my parents' house. Copaiba, this is Copaiba. And I also add a little bit of clove into this mix. The clove sticker just uh, fell off. So here's what I do. This is a refill, as you can see, there's just a little bit left. And I want to also just let you guys know, when it comes to our babies, I just always recommend doing what feels comfortable to you. If you don't want to utilize, an example, clove on your child's gums, don't do that. Then what you can do is maybe make a blend, which I'm also gonna be refilling, that's topical use only. And that's totally fine if you don't want to put it in the mouth, uh, just do it that way. Or if that doesn't feel comfortable, then I would just diffuse some comforting, calming oils that will help to really just help your baby chill out um, and feel calm during that time when they're not super comfortable, right? So with this one, if you're going to make the Copaiba one, then what I recommend doing is just testing it on yourself first. And so clove, is not one that you necessarily need to use in this anymore. I made this blend before Copaiba was available. And Copaiba is such a monster awesome oil for so many things, discomfort and beyond and cellular support. And so it's a great one to utilize. And what I do for Noel, again, do what feels comfortable to you. I'm not a doctor. I am a mom sharing my experience. Okay, so with Copaiba, I just do 10 drops for Noel. And you can test this on yourself. It's really, really gentle. Eight, nine, 10. If I accidentally got 11, it's not the end of the world because we're talking about, this is super diluted, okay? Uh, I also like to utilize the clove though. Now, not all children are going to like clove. It is spicy. And so if you're going to try the clove, just start up a 10 mil rollerball bottle, do one drop of clove. That's all you need to start with, and then fill it almost all the way with fractionated coconut oil. Add your copaiba if you want, and test it. If it doesn't, if you're not feeling much of anything, then add some more. And with Noel, what has worked for us is six drops of clove in this 10 mil. So that's what I'm going to do. Four, five, six. Again, still super diluted. And then all I'm gonna do is add some fractionated coconut oil right into the rollerball bottle. And that's all it is. It's 16 drops of essential oil with uh, fractionated coconut oil. And this, how, the way I apply it, pop that rollerball top back on. I'm gonna shake it a little bit. I just go like this. Mm -hmm. And then just on her gums, Hello, teeth. <laughs> and I can definitely feel the numbing. So this is a really, really good option um, if you feel comfortable utilizing those oils internally, and I certainly do. I've been using these oils for three, no, four years now. That is a no-brainer for me, super easy, okay? There's that. Now, I'm going to make the one that I use ex, like on, um, on Noel topically, and I'm all oiled up now. I just, what I do is put it across her like this, down her jawline, down here, across the chin, 
and back up. And you can even go around the ear like that. Um, and again, this is super diluted. It's almost gone. She really, really likes this one. She likes both of them a lot, actually. And so here's what's in it. I'm going to do five drops each, lavender, Siberian fir, copaiba, and frankincense. So here's my copaiba. It's already open, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Close that up. Then I'm gonna grab my lavender. And lavender is such a good baby oil, you guys. It's, it's comforting for um, bedtime. It's comforting for the skin. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, I got extra, that's okay. It's a very gentle oil. I could put that directly on Noelle's um, skin and I would feel very comfortable with that. If you don't, then dilute it. Again, do what feels good to you. That's all you can do. Siberian fur is next. Mm. I love Siberian fur. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, that one came out fast at the end. I got six. Totally fine. You can't mess these up. We're so used to prescription drugs, right? And like you can mess those up in a big way. You can't mess these up. If you get extra drops, like one or two extra drops, no big deal. Five extra drops, no big deal. Ten. Now, if you put the whole bottle of Siberian fur on your child, that would be a one a waste of money, and it would probably be pretty intense for her, but that's because it's 300 drops of oil. Don't do that. Just don't do that. <laughs> See? Easy. <laughs> and then finally, frankincense. I'm going to do five drops. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put one under my um, tongue as well. And the reason I do that is because it's very emotionally balancing and I love it. And so whenever I see my frankincense that I pop it under, I do it once or twice a day. And for new mamas, I, I am just all for that, you guys. Pop that frank under your tongue. It will help help you manage your emotions in a natural way. Okay, so that's it. Lavender, Siberian fur, copaiba, and frankincense. Shake it up, and then it's all set for Noel for this evening when she, you know, if she feels any discomfort, I just go like this, cross, cross the lip, underneath, just covering wherever, you know, as close as I can to where she's teething, and then also the jawline in general to help with that discomfort. And that's it. I hope that helps you guys. I wanted to just pop on because it's really easy for me to do that when I'm already having to refill. And you can see how easy it is. Like if I were not talking to you while doing this, I would have been done like three minutes ago. And that's really, really fast, right? So just having these oils on hand makes it so easy for us to care for our kids and care for ourselves and our, like our dogs um, in an easy way. So Essential oils, no, they're not a panacea, right? But they're just such a great wellness tool to have around. So I just, just surround yourself with the lovely smells, you guys. <laughs> and if you have any questions, of course, you can send me a message or send your upline a message. Thank you for joining me. Mwah.